Look at that shelf cloud. Very interesting looking shelf cloud. And you know the storms from earlier, they collided with the West Coast sea breeze to our west. And the wind right now, if you focus on it, is actually coming out of the west, northwest. Oh, wow. You know what that means? The wind's coming out of the west, northwest, and you got these strong winds, really strong winds I showed you on radar, coming out of the east. Yeah, yeah. You know what's gonna happen. When two winds yeah, in two right. directions come together, they can't go down because the earth, earth is there. They're gonna go up. And that's where you get the collision. The, the cloud is behaving that way because it is now uh, feeling the effect of the west wind along the west coast sea breeze yeah. that thunderstorms put out. And the cloud is, is feeling the impact of that. And now you're getting this um, resultant shelf cloud boundary. Nice. So a scenario like this where the change, so tornadoes form when you have a change in wind speed or direction with height that is significant enough. Right. So uh, I'm not, I don't quite know what the threshold is. I think it's like a difference of maybe 25 to 35 meters per second or something like that. But, but um, we don't get big tornadoes here because the change of wind direction with height is rarely that strong here. But by a slightly different mechanism, when you have the West Coast Sea Breeze come with, meet the East Coast Sea Breeze like this, yeah. you can get brief uh, spin up actual brief spin up uh, water spouts wow. and the good news is these water spouts that that form in, in situations like this they're very very weak so if yeah. you ran if you ran into it with a boat it would be terrifying but they're nothing com they're not very, not they, they don't compare in, in magnitude even remotely to the to the monster tornadoes you get out in the midwest Yeah, I, I mean, having lived here 25 years, I've, I've never seen a large tornado here. Mm. I've seen water spouts, skinny water spouts, but I've never seen a large tornado. You know, when uh, I was in Houston when Katrina hit. Yeah, that was a brutal storm. And do you know what? The population of Houston increased by half a million overnight. Really? Oh, yeah, that's because everybody was... They're all heading west. They couldn't go east towards Florida. Yeah, because it was. Yep. And they couldn't go north because you know, <coughs> north of New Orleans, New Orleans, the, the, the Pontius Rain Causeway. Yeah, that. <coughs> oh yeah. A, a boat, a barge hit it and brought part of it down. Really, before that Katrina? Or after Katrina? During. During Katrina. Okay, that makes sense. Here's the thing: nobody could travel up there then. Ooh. That's the 27-mile-long 